Hello, in this tutorial we will be discussing the if statement, or at least what passes for it in assembly. An if statement is a fundamental part of any programming language. It allows a program to branch into two different paths of logic depending on the input. Surprisingly enough, assembly does not actually have an if statement. Instead, it has the building blocks for one. In its simplest form, an if statement can be broken down into these simple steps. The ability to take in a value from a sensor or user input, the ability to compare that value against a hard-coded expected value, the ability to then know whether or not that comparison is true or false, and then take two different courses of action depending on whether or not that comparison was true or false. The first step is to get some input. I'm going to assume that you've already watched the video on the load register function. This is a simple function that allows you to load some value into a register. For now I'm going to assume that our input input is a hex 100 value and it is going to be stored in the R0 register. Next, we are going to use the CMP or compare value function. This function will compare the value stored in R0 with the hard-coded value of x100. The logic behind the compare value function is an xnor in that it returns a 1 when both inputs are the same and a 0 when they are not. The result of the xnor comparison is then stored in the special z register. I have not yet spoken about special registers, but they are an easy concept and I'm sure you can get them. You can view the contents of your special registers in the debug screen, as pictured here. After we have collected and compared the data, it is time to branch. We will use the branch equal to or BEQ function. What this function does is it checks the value of the special Z register. If the contents of the special Z register are equal to 1, that means that the two compared values are equal. If they are equal, the program will look for a function 1 procedure flag and then jump to that flag when it finds it. If they are not equal, that is, if the Z register contains a 0, then the program will continue on in a logical fashion with the branch or BEQ function ignored. Thank you for watching.